my channel? Bull Cap Casey, guys. Oh, yes. I got my coffee. I'm ready to rock and roll. I got an hour and a half-ish drive north. We're going to the air show. If you guys like air shows, it's just a little regional air show. It's not the big, big old guys at the Air Force bases, so... It's a small little cute air show. Anyway, it's an air show. Who doesn't get excited about air shows? I don't know. Well, don't watch the channel because that's what we're going to show today. If you do like air shows and you like to see some old planes flying, some new planes flying, whatever. There might be some drones, me eating some crazy, probably some food from at the vendors. What other, what other things are going on at the air show? People watching. If you guys want to see an air show that's where i'm going stick around don't turn the channel oh wait wait whoa 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 i think i just told you guys that this i said stick with me if you want to see the air show not on this one i'm not gonna this one's just the ride along heading up heading up north to the air show i'm gonna have another video that will have the air show on it so i don't want to mislead anybody keep the truth here i i have to have my car i have not awake yet so i misspoke this this video here is just me driving up there to the air show got an hour and a half and i thought i would just uh talk to you guys make a little video as i drive up there my weekly ride along here it is my coffee. Is the lid on right? <laughs> I have this thing about lids, man. I, I, I guess I've been burnt before. You ever, I went to drink and then the whole lid just popped off. Hot coffee's coming all the way down. It was not fun. I got burnt. So now I make sure you guys put the lids on correctly. I always burn my tongue, especially like on hot chocolate, right? This guy's going super slow, so we're gonna, it's 5.45 in the morning. It's an hour and a half to get up there-ish. And um, yeah, it's in Burlington, Washington, uh, regional little airport. Uh, they have the Heritage flight. I think I've showed this before, like the P-51 Mustang and um, a few other ones. So I think it's like $10, $12 to get in for adults. I'm an adult, guys. Can you believe it? <laughs> I'm an adult? What the heck? Yeah, that's what they call me. I don't act like it. I mean, are you supposed to... I, I've never been this age before. How do I... How am I, I don't know how to act. Be you, right? Be you. All right, guys, I'll turn, I'll turn it. I wasn't going to go live. I've never been live on YouTube. I wanted to see how it worked, but I'm not sure how it would work. If I'm driving, it might be like some, you know, no signal spots. It might be kind of going in and out. I'll have to experiment with that sometime. Anyway, I've got some stuff. This is my ride along, too. You know, every Saturday, if you guys are familiar with my channel, I uh, do a little ride along every Saturday and talk about things I've heard during the week, things that have been happening to me, current news, sports. I listen to the radio during the week as I drive and, and, and work uh, with DoorDash. And uh, I write it down so I don't forget. That's a key to success. If you haven't heard me say this, you haven't been watching my channel because I say that a lot. Write things down, guys. Get a notepad and, and keep it in your car because you have. don't you have ideas? And then when you get home, you're like, what was that idea I had? See? So get that pen, get the paper, notepad like this or whatever, something to write down on so you don't forget. Put a notepad. Where are other, where other places in life do you have ideas? You never know. If you stand in line somewhere, put one by your bed, right? Wake up like, oh, I had a cool dream. Let me write this down. It's my ideas. Or watching TV, sitting on the, doing a poo-poo in the shower. <laughs> don't always have a notepad next to you. Write things down. Unless you're good memory, because I forget. I forget. 
even when I was younger, though. I remember saying that. Maybe, I don't, what, what, what did I... I remember I had a good idea. And then it escapes, it escapes your brain. So a key to success. Write things down, folks. Anyway, let's just keep it on. Let's turn the uh, app on or the, the video off and drive a little bit down the road. But, man, I feel like kind of chatting today. I guess this... And this is my first couple sips of coffee. You know, they haven't kicked in yet. It takes a good, what, 15, 20 minutes to kick in. The sports talk, Seattle Kraken. If you guys are into hockey right now, they're playing a the best out of seven series against the Dallas Stars. Is it the Dallas Stars, guys? I'm not a big hockey fan. I'll listen to it, just the updates and stuff. And I listened to it a little bit the other day on the radio of the game. But they're down three to two against Dallas, and it, it, it's 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 the second year of Seattle Kraken, of a professional hockey team here in Seattle, and they made the playoffs. So and they're in the second round already. They beat the first round where they had to play the the defending champions, and they beat them. So that's good. Now they're trying. They gotta. It's if they lose another one, they're out. So is that best out of seven? They're down. Three to two in the series. My Mariners, they've been doing. They're at right, I think, right at 500 as of today. I think they're 19 and 19. So, hopefully, some guys will kick around. Julio hasn't had the best start. Julio Rodriguez, our our uh, superstar last year, is having a slow start. That's baseball. That's baseball. Guys are gonna be. Going in slow, you get humbled quickly. If you're good, you're and you're gonna you're gonna have uh, you're not gonna be good all the time. You're gonna get humbled. You're gonna have some bad moments in, in sports. He stays with it. You'll be all right. They're moving him up and down the uh, batting order. I think he's only hitting like two ten, but you gotta double yesterday no yeah I think it was a a double and then he had a home run so let's go Julio let's go Mariners that's it their pitching has been awesome you guys been following you guys follow the Seattle Mariners their pitching has been great Just, it seems to be the story of most of the franchise seems like of Seattle's franchise history, Seattle Mariners. I could be wrong, but within the last 20 years anyway, it's just the hitting. After Griffey and Edgar, those guys can hit. Edgar was one of the best hitters ever, designated hitters. But after that, we haven't had, I mean, if you look at, I think they even said it on the radio, the last four or five years, we've been the lowest batting average team. It's going to be hard to win games like that. I know nowadays it's not really, batting average isn't really a, a main key factor, but I, to me it is. But mostly now it's uh, home runs or strikeouts. No more small ball. That was, was entertaining to me. You know, but then, you know, it's a business, I understand. It's about wins and losses. The small ball, getting hits, getting guys on base. Advancing them over. Sacrificing some steals in there, too. It's all about the Sabre metrics now. What, what's, what's the higher percentage? You know, you don't steal, that's a high risk. I guess that's what they figure during the the geeks, the nerds, of uh, the, the people that do the numbers, that's what they're saying do. That's what kind of baseball's been geared to. That's where they had to shift. This year, they don't have a shift. They have some different rules this year. What do you guys been thinking? If you watch baseball, tell me, what have you thought about the new, the new rules so far this year? The bigger bases, the pitch clock. It's probably the biggest change they've had. The pitcher now has a... What is it? Is it 10? No. I don't What? What is the pitch clock, guys? 20 seconds? That seems too long. 15 seconds? I forgot. There's a pitch clock. Anyway, the pitcher can't just, you know, dilly-dally and take his time. And you got to pitch it. 
if you don't pitch it underneath a certain amount of uh, time, let's just say 12 seconds, it's, uh, I think it's a ball, one ball. The, the batter gets a ball. <laughs> I think that's right. <laughs> I didn't watch much baseball. I listened to it on the radio. I can't recall what happens if the pitcher, uh, if it goes over the time limit. Oh, you baseball fans, let me know. Plus, I'm still trying to wake up here. But I think the best team right now, best record team is uh, Tampa Bay. I don't know where they're predicted to be, but I think that might be a surprise. I don't think they're predicted to be that good. I like when that happens. And they're like, oh, you're not going to be that good, this team. And then they surprise everybody, and they're kicking ass. Oh, I like Saturday morning on the freeway, as you guys didn't know. No traffic. It should be clear to go all the way up there. Unless they've got some crazy road construction. Speaking of road construction, hey, where, what was it the other day? I wrote it down, I know. Yeah, there are painting lines. This was in the middle of the day. There's a, a truck that had the uh, painting the, the new stripes on the road. Like I said, this was the middle of the day, Wednesday or something like that. All kinds of traffic. And the, and the guy in the pit, it's only a two lane road. And he was going so slow because he's got to get the, the lines painted. And the line behind him was backed up way back, like miles. What is going on here? Why can't they do that stuff at night? <laughs> this is ridiculous. You can, you're, you're blocking all these people that are trying to work, slowing down production. All these people trying to get some place. They got lights, right? Why can't they paint the lines and do a lot of construction at nighttime? There's less people out on the road. This makes sense. Who's making these decisions? Who's making these decisions? This guy's on my butt, so let me go get in the slow lane, guys. Cause you feel like people riding on your tail? Your car? Alright, let me get some of this more coffee in me and let it start this caffeine to start waking me up, guys. I've been talking already for 12 minutes and 15 seconds. And then we'll talk some more what's going on what's going on here on my paper. And I heard that AM radio is going away. What? Be right back, guys. All right. I thought you guys might want to take a peek outside since I've, I thought I did a good job washing my window. I guess I wasn't paying attention. But a little bit of smudges on my window. Like, so what are they what are they doing? They're gonna take AM radio away? Like, no way. 
I don't know if it's just in the cars, but, but that's probably their biggest people that you know, their biggest customers or their what do you call me yeah, I guess customer their their biggest listeners are people that are commuting that are driving that are listening to the AM radio I like listening to AM radio I got my news you get your weather you get your traffic updates but I listen to my news and my sports and there is an FM station I also listen around here that's got that they got sports at 97.3 FM here up in Seattle area. They, they also have the sports on there once in a while in the news. No, no sports on there. Is there? No. Just the news and stuff. 97.3 AM. I like listening to my station at night, coast to coast AM. You guys ever heard that? Coast to coast AM? They have all kinds of crazy, fun, interesting topics, stuff that fascinates me, called Coast to Coast AM. But anyway, all I'm talking about is AM station, so I don't know what's going on. A lot of these car manufacturers are just kind of dealing away with the AM. Maybe it's just only strictly going to be the electric cars because, like I said, somehow the electric, electric cars, the, the wiring and the programming in it, makes the AM stations very bad quality of listening to. And that's got to deal with, you know, the frequencies and uh, mix matching, something like that. It's getting all distorted. So, that I'd share that with you guys. Anyway, you guys have any more insight in that or any news on this AM radio posted because I heard it again. It said, save AM radio. Go in there and um, vote. Just save AM radio. Don't let it go away. I mean, there's a lot of stations out there. They'll have to move over to an FM station. Anyway, I thought it was interesting. There's got to be a way to shield it. Somehow you can put the uh, those electric cars you can make it work. I'm sure there's a way. There's got to be a way. There's a will, there's a way, right? What else? What else? Oh, today's, tomorrow's Mother's Day in my world here. I don't know whenever you guys are going to watch this video, but you guys all treat your mother well if you those of you got a mother buy her some flowers say hello at least call her up and say hello buy your mother something too take her out to dinner or breakfast or give her some of your time because that's the most precious thing we can give anybody in life I think it's your time sure have a lot of balloons and flowers at Safeway. Oh, boy. Let me get this guy was on my butt really quick. Let me get in the slower lane. I guess I'm going, I'm going 10 miles over the speed limit. People are still on my booty. Hey, speaking of flowers at the, I've been having a few flowers more more than usual, I guess because of the holiday, um, Mother's Day coming up, and a lot of flower deliveries yesterday and the day before, unfortunately, I got one that had the wrong address, and I tried to call the customer, tried to text them, tried to call the store, they didn't know, so I had to bring the flowers all the way back, because I called DoorDash, and they tried to help me couldn't get a hold of the customer, couldn't verify the address, so I had to bring, it was like a 15, 20 minute delivery, and so I had to bring it all the way back to the store, return the flowers, and hopefully they be able to get a hold of the customer and change the address, because that's what, there was no address. So now, I got smart, before I've gotten a whole bunch of deliveries of flowers and after that, and uh, check, <laughs> check the address.
address before you go. Before I left, make sure. I mean, that address was an address, but it wasn't their address, if that made any sense. <laughs> Probably forgot a number on there, I'm sure. Like it was 80th Street, it's probably 180th or something like that. Yep, first time that's happened, I think. I had to return groceries back once, Walmart. But we don't do grocery shopping anymore with DoorDash. I mean, excuse me. No more Walmart pickups. I do grocery shopping with Safeway and Walgreens like that, but no more. It used to be Walmart, but now I think there's another company that does the Walmart deliveries. Man, I haven't been up here in a while. Things are always changing. More and more warehouses going up. Expensive to drive up here. We got all these toll roads. Oh man. Oh yeah, I talked about uh, Tucker Carlson, right? He got fired, what, a couple weeks now ago from Fox News. I knew it'd only take him a, a couple couple days or so or a week or so that to get to get going he's got a big audience he's just not going to give up i'm sure he just wants his own platform what i heard he's going on twitter so i didn't know twitter had a tv or i thought twitter was just texting little do i know Anyway, yeah, about that about AM radio stations, I found this saveamradio.com. If you guys want more information about this AM radio station, might be going away. I read up on saveamradio.com. Guys, I'll be back. I'm gonna get down the road a little bit. I'll be right back. Driving into Bellevue, Washington here. Still got an hour heading up to Burlington, Washington for the air show today. Here we go 
just driving to the air show up in Burlington, Washington. Let's get there before it starts. Yeah, the gates don't open till 10. And I'll probably be there like at 7.30, so plenty of time, folks. I'm going to find somewhere to go eat. Even though I had some cereal this morning, I had some Chex Honey. I like Chex, Chex Mix. It's probably one of my favorite cereals. Chex Mix, the honey one. But they got the chocolate. They got different flavors. They got, um, there was another one, too, I see.
punishment would you give a fisherman that cheated? All your fish that you catch for the year, you have to give it to, uh, you have to give it to, uh, you have to donate it or something. Do something good for the, uh, the community. You can't eat any of your fish that you catch for a year. Something, something like that. Where you gotta sit, you gotta clean, you gotta clean everybody's fish. They come off some kind of punishment. You guys will think of something. What kind of punishment would you give to fit the cheating fishermen on a competition? All you smart, funny people with big brains you can think of something in the comments. Put that in the comments.
you're getting more smart and more smart. I guess I have a conversation with Siri once in a while. It seems like some things wouldn't add up. I, I don't know. Ask your, I mean, maybe these computers are that smart. You know, all kinds of questions. Like you, would, you, would, you would recognize a, a computer text. But I don't know. Like maybe we got to tell you. Let me know, guys. Anyway, this girl, she's making out. I guess she's uh, she's making money, or her AI is making money. She's making passive income. She has her AI texting for all these guys, and if these guys know it or not, even if they, even if these guys or her girls, whoever was wanting to talk, text with this girl, I'm imagining 99% of them are guys. Even if they knew it was an AI, they're like, well, it's, you know, it's, it's something. That's just sad to me, right? I mean, there's a, there's a lot of people that are just lonely in this world. We need, we need some more love, folks. People are lonely. And it sucks because, I mean, I, I understand, too, these dating apps. I've actually joined a couple to see what they're about. A lot of them, I would join it real quick and then they oh they want a subscription like what ex ex subscription what the heck yeah one month $20.99 or six months this and he a year you don't want me to find love if you want me to have a subscription for a year on a dating site you want me to stay on this dating site you don't want me to find a significant other <laughs> oh man and then most of these people on the dating site is like this isn't true this isn't what she looks like. Fake pictures and scams, and, and they'll give you links to some other, you know, to make money, some kind of, you know, it's a scam. Maybe that's what I need to start. I have a few girls, I know a few girls, and the, some girls know girls, and those girls know girls. Most of them are in the Philippines. I think all of them are all my girl friends that I know that are in the Philippines that are single, and they're looking for love. I gotta ask him, hey, no scam. If you're looking for true love, let me know. Because I know there's a bunch of men that are looking for a, someone to enjoy their life with. Gotta find a better mousetrap out there, right? These dating sites are the ones that I've dealt with. Maybe I'm just cheap. And the, the good dating sites are the ones you gotta pay for. I doubt it. But you guys, again, you let me know what your experience on dating sites are. To me, they're just all about money, right? They don't want you to find love. They just want your money. All right, we're getting closer. Right there on the left, I wish I would have showed you guys. I didn't turn the camera, but... One of the big casinos up here in the northwest. This is uh, Snow, not Snow I mean, This is uh, what is it? Tulalip, Tulalip Casino. Just north here, Everett, Marysville. They got a hotel resort. <clears throat> All right, we'll see you when I get to the uh, in Burlington. And I'm going to cut the video off and uh, I'll see you guys in a bit uh, to do the sign off. That I'd share some of the beautiful views around here. We like greenery, green trees, blue skies, open road.
was stupid and uh, <laughs> ran out of gas right before the exit. So I had abandoned my car, just walk up to the exit, and then it probably about, and this exit, there was no gas station at. So I had to walk probably a couple miles, found a gas station, bought a jerry can there, and walked all the way back. And glad no one messed with my car. It was still there. I think I was supposed to go to work, so yeah, I was about a good, uh, good hour and a half, two hours late to work. guys I made it up here to Burlington Washington find me and I found me an ATM machine found finally there's a Chase Bank that's where I bank and there's a drive up there's no drive up ATM machine and the doors were locked at the uh, bank until like nine so anyway I'm here now guys I'm gonna go get a breakfast at Sherry's you see that Sherry's they got good breakfast like I said the air show doesn't start till 10 probably the the doors don't open until who knows nine maybe an hour early i don't know 10 o'clock is the air show start i'm only like a five minute drive away beautiful blue sky it don't get better than that great day for an air show huh let's go get some breakfast and uh i'll call up the episode the video let's go get some breakfast guys want something what do you guys want you want some pancakes or what you guys want a pie There we go, guys. The breakfast sampler. Ham, egg, and cheese. Of course, some bacon, toast, one sausage link. Didn't know that came with it. Gotta get some Tabasco on there. Of course, some Sherry's ketchup and the wake up juice. Thank you guys for watching my video. Stay tuned for the next video. It should be the air show.
We'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Remember, keep moving forward. Yummy, yummy.